Hello, and welcome to the Ant Tracking Tool video tutorial. Before we begin, please make sure no other programs are running in the background. When you're ready, open Accelerize Jacket and wait for MATLAB to load. Once MATLAB has fully loaded, please select the Browse for Folder button in the top panel. When the browsing window appears, find the Ant Tracking Tool folder and click Open. Once you have opened the correct folder, type Run Tracking into the command window in all caps, separated by an underscore, as shown on the screen. Then press Enter. A browsing window will appear. In this window, please find the video file containing the insects you would like to track. The first frame of the video will appear on your screen. Please notice the instructions in the title bar above the frame. Now, click on the corners of the insect's container in a clockwise manner, as shown. When you are done, press the Enter key. Now, part of the frame will be blacked out. The blacked out area should be the part of the frame where no ants will ever go. If the wrong part of the frame is blacked out, right click to invert the frame. If you've made a mistake, Left click in the black area to start this process over. If you're ready to move on, left click in the colored area to go to the next step. You will then be prompted to enter how many total ants you wish to track. This number should be the maximum number of ants on the screen at one time. When you are done, press OK. Now it is time to initialize the ant's tracking positions. In order to initialize each ant, left click first in the center of the ant and then in front of the ant's head. Do this for every ant on the screen, making sure you get each one. If you make a mistake while positioning a tracking arrow, first right click in the center of the tracking arrow, then click in the center of the ant and in front of the ant's head the same way you did to initially position the tracking arrow. When you're finished fixing your mistakes, press the green plus button at the bottom of the screen. Now, you can continue to add more tracking arrows on the other ants on the screen. If you accidentally add an extra tracking arrow, right click the center of the tracking arrow and then left click the red X button at the bottom of the screen to delete it. If you 
If you wish to add more tracking arrows after fixing this mistake, press the green plus button at the bottom of the screen. If you are all done adding tracking arrows, press the green play button at the bottom to begin automated tracking. Notice the title bar at the top of the screen will tell you which frame is currently being tracked. When a potential tracking error is detected, the tracking will stop, the frame will darken, and parts of the frame will be highlighted. These highlighted areas are the areas most likely to contain an error. Search the entire frame for errors. Sometimes there will be no errors. If this is the case, press the green play button to continue tracking. Most times, however, there will be an error. When you find an error, right-click in the center of the incorrect tracking arrow. Then, left-click in the center of the ant and in front of the ant's head, as you did before. If you wish to brighten the frame and get, get rid of the highlighted areas in order to see more clearly, press the black and white highlighting button at the bottom of the screen. Pressing this button again, will show the highlighted areas once more. If you wish to hide the tracking arrows in order to see more clearly, press the tracking arrow button at the bottom of the screen. Pressing this button again will display the tracking arrows once more. When you're finished making corrections, press the green play button to continue automated tracking. If it is difficult to tell which tracking arrow belongs to which ant, first right click on the tracking arrow. As you can see, a trail of where that arrow was over the past 500 frames will appear behind it in yellow. If it is still difficult to tell, even with this trail, press the yellow playback button at the bottom of the screen. Pressing the button with one arrow will play the tracking for the past 200 frames. Pressing the button with two arrows will play the tracking for the past 500 frames. Notice where the tracking error occurs. Now you can clearly see which arrow belongs to which ant and make the correction. When you are done, again, press the green play button at the bottom of the screen. If a new ant enters, enters the frame and is entirely on the screen, Add a new tracking arrow to that ant. In order to do so, first click the green plus button at the bottom, then left click in the center of the ant and in front of the ant's head to place the arrow. When you are done, you can either make more corrections or press the green play button to continue automated tracking. Note that an ant must be entirely within the frame to add a new tracking. The ant in the top left of this frame is not yet considered on the screen. If an ant is leaving the frame, first right click on the tracking arrow, then click the red X delete button at the bottom of the screen. This will delete the tracking. Then you can either make more corrections or continue the automated tracking by pressing the green play button. Sometimes, the automated tracking will stop and a pop-up window will appear asking you to validate the tracking results. When this happens, press OK and then watch the replay. Your job is to see whether the tracking arrows switch at all during the replay or whether they stay on the same ant the entire time. As you can see in this first replay, the tracking arrows do indeed switch. So when the next pop-up window appears, I will choose the option to switch the trackings. I then replay to confirm my results. As you can see now, the yellow arrow stays on the ant with the red tail the entire time. Now I can move on and continue the automated tracking. Thank you for watching my tutorial, and good luck tracking.